compression. You've overused it. You've underused it. Trial by error. You've had some success. You've had some failures. In today's video, I'm going to break down and show you an exercise that's going to help you take your compression skills to the next level and use it with purpose in your next mix. What's up, friends? I'm David Glenn with David Glenn Recording and TheMixAcademy.com. I want to introduce you to a new series we're going to run here on the channel. We'll probably do it a few times, but we're kicking it off, calling it Two Minute Mix Tips. It's going to be a mix tip for every day of the month here in February 2018, and uh, we'll just leave these up, playlists, nice and organized for you guys to run through, all kinds of stuff to come. So definitely drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please share with your friends and uh, we'll keep making these great videos. So today we're going to talk about this exercise. Uh, it's something that I recommend all the time. Compression is a tricky thing. Even top mixers like Dave Pensado have gone on record and said, uh, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing sometimes with compression. So um, this exercise is something I pulled in and um, it's worked really well for me and some of my students. And I want to show that to you. So uh, kick, snare, bass, lead vocal, and the stereo bus, right? By all means, go do this exercise on any track you want. But those are kind of the main ones I want you to pull in. Uh, if you want to download some free multi-tracks, there's a link in the description below if you don't have anything to practice on. But I want you to watch this and go implement this exercise right away. I want you to pull up a kick track. I want you to highlight a kick so that it plays on repeat. Okay? I want you to pull in a compressor. I've got the Slate Everything Bundle. I'm featuring VMR's FG401. This is a great compressor for this. We're going to go slow attack, fast release. We're going to hit that kick with the highest ratio possible. This is not how to mix a kick drum. This is not a video how to mix a snare or a lead vocal. This is a video to help you hear what the compressor is doing so that you can then use compression with a purpose and know, hey, do I want to enhance the attack? Do I want to increase the sustain? And we're going to do that. So looking at this, we got the kick drum here. We're going to drop the threshold. Hit it. Let's get some good compression going on. Okay. Slow attack, fast release. After you listen to that a little bit, I want you to swap it over to a fast attack, fast release. And you can hear right away, it's crushing the attack whenever you drop to a faster attack. Then you can play around with it. So slow attack, fast release, fast attack, fast release. And then you can dial it in. Try fast attack and then a slower release. So here's... All right, there you go. So I want you to do the same thing on the snare, the bass, and the lead vocal. And then pretty similar, just about the same concept on the stereo bus. We're going to go slowest attack, fastest release. Got that the other way around. Slowest attack, fastest release. Uh, crank the ratio, go 10 to 1, and then just hit that thing. Drop the threshold until you're getting maybe 10 dB of reduction until it sounds like it's really grabbing it. Then... Uh, increase the makeup gain so you can actually hear what's going on. And then what I want you to do is, uh, so slow attack, fast release, and then pull that attack in. One click at a time, hear it, go to the extreme. It's probably going to be a bit extreme if you go to the fastest attack on a bus compressor, but it could be cool. Uh, check that out. Again, not how to use bus compression. This is just so you can hear what slow attack, fast release is doing, and then what fast attack, fast release is doing, and then play with the knobs and experiment. And I guarantee you, your compression seals are going to come up through the roof. You're going to be mixing with a purpose, and you're going to thank me for it. So drop a comment. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want the free multi-tracks that we offer here, the free VIP mix training bundle, go to davidglennrecording.com. There's a tab called free stuff, drop down, mix templates, impulse responses, you name it, all kinds of stuff there for you. And we'll see you in the next two minute quick tip.